Hi Aries, welcome back to my channel and welcome to your mid-monthlies with me for the month of July. This is Brooke and welcome to Nightbird Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. I apologize for not getting out your July general monthly tarot forecast, but I'm here to do your mid-monthlies to see that what the energies are for July mid-month towards the end of the month. I'm doing a five-card spread with the Tarot of the Witch's deck. Uh, that I've had for a very long time and so welcome so glad you can join me and I've already pre-shuffled the cards let's get started Aries I have not peaked yet but let's get started and see what the energies are for Aries please watch for your sun your rising and your moon sign in this reading as well holy cow okay we have one two three tens <laughs> Three tens in a row for Aries. Interesting. Also, check me out on social media. Aries, Facebook, uh, Nightbird Terra, Instagram, Nightbird Terra, as well as my magical page on Facebook, Sacred Emerald Grove. The bottom of the deck, we see the Nine of Wands. Many readers will read the last card on the bottom of the deck because it's the essence of the reading. And I like to call it the creamy nougat of the reading. You can tell my, these cards are very old and pretty well used. But the Nine of Wands, the Nine of Wands to me, and this came up for the sign of Cancer where actually it was the Eight of Wands, but for some reason I was reading it as the Nine. The Nine of Wands in particular is very much about defense, very much about Standing up for something, standing your ground, having strength and reserve, Aries. You're very much about protecting yourself, protecting someone else, protecting a situation, standing up for your beliefs, standing up for what you strive for, work for, believe in, strive, whatever you're striving to do, Aries, July, mid-month to the end of the month, July is very much about Having an advantage, you have an advantage, whether you realize it or not. That's the message. So the Nine of Wands is on the bottom of the deck. Now let's take a look at why we have so many tens in your reading. When I see a prominence of numbers, very much a significance because the number 10 is very much about completion, very much about a cycle has completed itself or there's a completion period with the prominence of 10. So we begin with your theme or what, what I like to call the atmospheric element position. The 10 of swords has come in. Something is ending or has ended. There's a final ending or there's a feeling of disappointment or there even could be feelings of betrayal or feelings of even feeling like you've been stabbed in the back about something. It's that type of energy or feeling like you've been let down about something. And it's also a card of final endings. However, this applies in your lives, Aries, because this is a general reading. So it'll apply differently for each person that's watching. But there's been an ending of some kind. This also could be a period of disappointment. This also could be a feeling of a difficult situation that has been proven difficult is now ending and with it it may be very painful for you but some sort of truth has emerged so it's very much indicative of the end of a cycle that will now have perhaps fewer conflicts so there's a benefit to this card now most recent the most recent past or the most recent energies, we see the Ten of Pentacles. This is very much about legacy, very much about family, very much about family businesses, family money, something very much tied into with home, with family investments, with family money, family inheritances, legacy. Okay, it's also coming out of a period of perhaps financial security as well for Aries or 
you most recently have experienced this or a feeling of contentment okay or having now something permanent is being created as well so it's a great card of security financially it's a great card of security indicative of family so something's very connected here with family present energies we have the ten of cups once again family the ten of cups is also very tied in with marriage children happiness good health so the ten of cups is also indicating to Aries or validating you may be even feeling this mid-month July of a sense of well-being a sense of contentment happiness within the family whatever has occurred or is ended that disappointments being ushered out for Aries so it's very much a period of contentment very much a period of joy peace happiness family reunions attending weddings marriages even births in the family there's something that's very very positive and very very happy that is being represented for Aries so that's very very interesting that you have not one but two three three tens right here very much the cycle some sort of cycle of disappointment may have been painful it may still be lingering for you but there's good stuff going on with money, financial security in the home, happiness now is now being created in the home. Whether you're single, married, coupled, single parents, something's going on. Something's going on for Aries with happiness and well-being. The challenge is the night. The challenge is the night of coins, which is the night of pentacles. Slow, steady progress, Aries. You know, you very, you can be very bold, very assertive, and you can also be very impulsive. Why do I know this? Because my, my daughter is an Aries, and I've had very, very good close friends that are under the sun sign of Aries. They have all been super ambitious, super motivated, confident, sometimes very impulsive with an attitude of, Oh, I know. I can do this. I know what I'm doing. And, you know, okay, go for it. But don't be caught up in this fast pace of, I got to I gotta do this. Got to, got to, got to. Let it naturally, let it naturally play out. Because something is wanting to take its time. Slow, steady progress for Aries, mid-month July to the end of the month. The Knight of Pentacles is very much about slow, steady progress long-term long-term relationships long-term investments long-term career opportunities something very much connected long term for Aries and this is also a period where you know doing your daily tasks of ordinary living and going to the grocery store going to work going to your daughter son soccer practice the mundane ordinary doing the laundry these these everyday things are very much a part of that as well but that's okay because now may be the point mid-month July to the end of the month of putting a lot of concern in developing or focusing upon the ordinary tasks of something because there's an opportunity there to be very humble about your circumstances of anything that's very methodical so that's coming in for Aries as well which is very interesting so in the out composition we have the two of swords the two of swords is very much about not putting yourself in a position of denial not putting yourself in a position mid-month July to the end of the month of denial of some kind or being put in put your putting yourself into like a stalemate position about something because there may be situations 
coming out of this situation, once again, where the energies are still felt, even though things are going really well, or now they're picking up and things are getting better. There still may be a situation of impending conflict that you're kind of ignoring or not wanting to take a good look at. So the, the Tarot is reminding you of this. The potentials of this are still there. Because ignoring it or being in denial about it or being in a stalemate position about it is not going to enable you to move forward. It's not going to enable you to get anything done. It's just going to keep, keep it right there. So... We have the Six of Cups. There's something very much connected to your past. This could be relationships from the past, family relationships. This could be the workplace. This could be career. This could be something that you have not perhaps dealt with or faced. And then we see the Emperor. Very much something about control. Very much something about authority as well. And then here we have the Ace. The Ace of Coins, I swear to God, has shown up for a few other signs for this month so there must be something going on astrologically in terms of money I don't know because I'm not an astrologer and then we have the four of coins so the four of coins or pentacles very much about control of money the emperor is very much control and authority very much about holding on too tightly to something as well and this could be this energy going back to this energy or something connected with family and then we see the seven of wands so the seven of wands and I'm gonna stop there because I could just go for days the seven of wands is very indicative of there's passion behind all of this but there's something that's very much a struggle with other people or there's competition or you're being challenged so there may be challenging dynamics in the family. This could be connected with family businesses. If you work for other uh, family members or your mom and dad have like a, you know, mom and pa business or you're in business together and investments together. But the message is with this card, you have to value your ambition, Aries, because you're very ambitious and also nurture that competitive instinct. You're very competitive, very driven, very enthusiastic, very impulsive at times, very assertive. So nurture that mid-month July to the end of the month because there's something in the end ultimately for Aries about slow, steady progress, about something that's really in the long term. It's going to give you financial gain, financial opportunity, or more control over a certain family dynamic, work dynamic, relationship dynamic, however it plays out for you, Aries, because this is a general reading, it will be different for everyone who's watching. So good luck to you, Aries. Keep me posted. If you'd like to book a private session with me, check out my website. You can also email me, nightbirdterra at gmail.com. So many blessings and much peace, and I'll speak to you soon.